Yo, what's up guys, welcome back to today's video. This video I'm gonna be showing you guys the number one pet that I think is in Arcan Legend for Warrior. Now this uh, guide actually involves a combination of five pets all put together into one pet that makes it the best. You are gonna need a fair amount of gold to be able to do this as well. But I'm gonna just go here on all and I'm gonna show you the best build I think for pet is in Arcan Legend for a warrior character. You could apply it to other characters as well if there is a tanky mage or rogue, but this is mostly directed at a warrior. So the first pet you want as a base is actually the Timur pet, which we can find in the her uh, heroic section all at the end of this, I think. You can find him. He's a very powerful pet right here. And the reason we have him is for his passive ability. While it doesn't show here, you actually get a huge armor. You get a huge armor reduction on enemies, so your enemies will have 20% armor on the passive from this pet. So very powerful ability that you want. I think you get it as you level it up. So as you can see, this one is level one, so it just says this. But when you go over at higher end, you will see that it gives a huge armor reduction. That means the other classes can do a lot more damage to the mobs or bosses you are targeting. So very very powerful passive that's that's the pet I would open as a base it has quite a lot of gold loot as well but uh, we are going for the most powerful one not the most OP gold loot now for the for the happiness bonus there is I've actually selected three pets that I think would go best in this situation the first being and my number one prefer preferred happiness bonus is probably be going to be uh, Zulong, oh, sorry, just Zulong or Armored Zulong really doesn't really make a huge difference, but probably going to be the Armored Zulong and the reason for this is you get this 20% standard damage, bonus damage and 20% bonus boss damage and plus 20 all stats and 45 while this is my best choice and this is because uh, this pet does uh, you can sell it for a relatively high price as well if you decide not to open it which you are not gonna you just slot this in and to slot if you don't know you just come here there will be a button that says unlock slot and you just slot this in as you can see I have this to slot it in right there but um, one of my top three choice for would be the armored Zulong. Up next, I would probably go Lancelot, and that's because you get this 25% damage, this 50 primary stats, 30 all stats, and 15 boss damage. This is nice. The happiness bonus kind of depends on what you're trying to go for. If you're saying going for boss damage, then you would obviously pick a pet that's going to do more boss damage. But in most general, Lancelot is a very good pet uh, in most situations. You also get 500 armor, so if you're not geared that well, you don't have that 8,000 base um, armor that you want as a warrior, then this is something you may consider as a happiness bonus as you get that extra, uh, extra damage as well. Uh, so, and finally, my pick for the last, last, last pet for the happiness bonus is probably going to be Ingot and Chunk. And if you have a look, you actually see that Ingot and Chunk has a very nice happiness bonus. You can see most of these pets are directed at doing a lot of damage either to boss mobs or in elite places. That's because that's where warriors shine the most. So they become very handy in this sort of situation as a warrior. The final place the finally the last thing for the for the arcane ability i am actually gonna use a few two pets for this example the first one being a glow stick egg if we go over to right well, where is he maybe i uh, oh that's right i have a glow stick but so i actually use all of these um, combinations but just not on a single pet at the moment 
so I, I know this to be the number one pet combination for worries by the way uh, even though I <laughs> I'm not able to show you at the moment because it does cost a fair bit but we go over to the arcane ability for the glow stick this is a very very powerful arcane ability it does so much it really saves your skin in heat of battles and your parties as well so this is a very this is probably the number one uh, arcane ability in the game in my opinion in terms of saving your party this thing can withstand anything the other one, the alternative that I'd recommend is actually a Necro Arcane Ability. Now this doesn't mean you have to be the Gold Necro, the Arcane Ability. Uh, Arcanite Necro can just be any Necro Arcane Ability, it does the same. But the Arcane uh, Ability of Necro has been one of the most powerful ones for ages, ages now. So definitely very helpful, the only difference is that is that this has a chance to banish the mobs which you don't really need but kind of nice to have in really hard situations it gives you the shield so you are protected a lot longer I feel with the gold necro rather than rather than the glow stick pad and finally it also slows down enemies and terrifies them as well it also gives you a little bit of a speed boost so this is an alternative so for the arcane ability hands down go for glow stick or the arcane ability anyway guys that's what i think is the best combination of pets are for warriors at the moment at level 76 if you think you have a different better options feel free to leave it down in the comment below and I'd be looking forward to check it out. Thank you so much. Have an awesome day.